What's that? That's a flat pouch type lithium ion cell. So something like this could go in an electric vehicle and there'd just be how many of them? Well, that depends on the size of the battery pack in the vehicle, mm -hmm. you know. A uh, 15 kilowatt hour pack would use about 300 of cells like this. A 50 kilowatt hour pack would use more like a thousand. So a car that's on the road today could well have a thousand of these and that's what powers it? Roughly. Yeah. And what's that? Same kind of thing. This is a cylindrical lithium ion cell and uh, you know as most people know Tesla uses cylindrical cells in their vehicles and because it's you know much smaller you need correspondingly more in mm -hmm. the in the car to store the same amount of energy. Okay so a Tesla Model 3 their their base model how many would they have of those? There's several thousand somewhere between 4,000 and 6,000 of those cells. Okay. And what's inside them? If you like I can take one apart yeah, and, great. Sure. and show you. So it's not not safe to take apart a lithium ion cell that's full of electrolyte and is charged. Mm -hmm. So what would happen to us? Well, if we were unlucky, we might initiate a short circuit that would generate a lot of smoke, and if we're really unlucky, there might be some flame too. Yeah, that that doesn't sound good. No, we no. don't we don't want to do that. No. So I have here small cells that we use in our research, mm -hmm. which are exactly the same type of construction as real lithium ion cells if you like and if you cut open this pouch and extract what we call the jelly roll you can see what it looks like I'll give it to you so you can hold it mm -hmm. let's see so it is rolled up yeah it's rolled so as we start to unroll this the first thing that we see is aluminum foil and this aluminum foil is the current collector for the positive electrode. When we come to this black material, that's the positive electrode material. In this case, it's in our jargon called NMC. It okay. stands for lithium nickel manganese cobalt oxide. So NMC is the nickel manganese and cobalt. And it's that's what I assumed. Yeah. And it's coated on both sides once you get a little bit further in. The coatings are about 50 micrometers thick, which is about half the thickness of a human hair. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And then you, c you encounter this white material. This mm -hmm. is called the separator. It's used to separate the positive from the negative to prevent short circuit and also to hold the electrolyte of the cell. The separator is about 50% porous. The pores are very small and the scissors are very dull. <laughs> but the pores are about 40 nanometers in diameter. That's a 50% porous material. But you'd never know. You'd never know. A, if a human yeah, eye, you'd yeah. never know. And it's the exact same chemistry as a Ziploc bag. It's polyethylene, except this has been made with holes. And it's white instead of clear because of light scattering from the holes. I did think as you were enrolling it, and this is at the risk of you never allowing a journalist in here again, that it looked like a fruit roll-up. <laughs> yeah, that's why we call it a jelly roll. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's exactly why it's <laughs> called a jelly roll. <laughs> and then we have the graphite electrode, which is graphite powder on a copper foil current collector, you know, and then these things are just rolled, rolled and rolled. So if you compare it to a cell phone battery, cell phone battery is just wider electrodes rolled on a wider roll pattern mm -hmm. right and if you think about a cylindrical cell you would just instead of flat winding it you would wind it on a on a small uh, cylinder at the beginning and as it spirals out you get a cylinder so in all of this is just a small version of what yeah all could this be in a car all lithium ion cells in the world have this four layers negative separator positive and separator mm -hmm pretty simple. And and you're trying to you're trying to stuff a whole lot more power into that. Yeah. Yeah. That's the idea. You change the negative and positive electrode, modify the cell design and mm -hmm. hope you go in the right direction. But you have been. Well, we don't tell people about going in the wrong direction, which is a, lo a lot of <laughs> a lot of what happens in research. You yeah. Know? Sometimes you take the right move, and sometimes you take the wrong move. But that's the only way you know to x that approach off. Right. right exactly. Yeah.